guys welcome back to my channel so today as you can tell by the title we are going to be discussing my august favorites i am just outdone that august is over now i will admit i'm like this much sad <laughs> to see summer go i mean some, this summer has been beautiful it hasn't been super super hot but we had some really warm days so it was a nice mixture but it wasn't like crazy humid every day whatever i've enjoyed my time but i love the fall it's my favorite you can get snuggly you can wear vampy lips and smoky eyes and you can just have a funky good time kicking in the leaves wearing your boots or you know cut off jeans Ugh. i just love the summer the summer ah eh, wrong i just love the fall uh i love everything about it including my birthday so my birthday's in october and i just love that we're approaching that time because anyone who knows me knows that i love my birthday i do like a countdown it's a whole thing um so i'm pretty excited so in the process of making our way through the summer some new products have come my way i've rediscovered some other products and i just figured we would talk about them now so never fear um this look that i've created i actually just filmed a video on it and so that will be up after this video so there's one more look that i want to film and i'm not bleh, 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 bleh. i'm not sure which one is going to go up first this look or the one that i've been kind of processing in my mind for a little bit so We'll see how it goes. So let's just jump right into these favorites, shall we? So, hold please. Oh, I'm back. So, I was gonna, I think, just launch into the things that I'm loving this month. So, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I was gonna start with skincare. That's what we were. I'm easily distracted, apparently. So, there are three skincare items I want to show you. Two are from the same line. So, this is the Maraud Acne Treatment Line. And so, here we have the Spot Fix Treatment. And then here is a Mattifying Moisturizer. So, this Acne Spot Fast Fix Treatment I picked up at Sephora um was looking for something because i was just having oh i'm having my hair stuck to my lashes uh i was having just a couple random spots that were um i was breaking out and so i wanted something to kind of just treat that on the spot and i didn't have anything and i have heard good things about the mirad products and or mirad mirad um and i have tried a couple things so i figured i would try this and i really like it it is very effective and i really do enjoy it and then in a swag bag i received the mirad Mirad um, oil control mattifier. I got two samples of these. This is actually the second sample. The first one, I'm almost done with it, which is pretty legit considering I've used this for about the last month. So I was pretty surprised that it lasted so well. A little bit does go a long way. It is a good moisturizer, but it does really well and keeping you mad. So those days when it's been much warmer and more humid, this has been helpful for an everyday situation to keep my makeup keep my skin matte and um, keep my makeup from breaking up and things like that so those two products I've really enjoyed and then as we're transitioning into some cooler temps I've noticed that occasionally I feel a little bit dry and this is very very rare um, so to help with that I just still use my same products my same moisturizer but I do add an extra step and I just kind of spritz my face all over and kind of drench it and fix plus um this is the yuzu scent that was limited edition boo y'all know how I feel about that um but it's very refreshing um it's not marketed as like a moisturizer but it does the trick like it kind of adds a little bit extra to my moisturizer because I've been tentative 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 yeah <laughs> and switching my moisturizer a because we're not fully into the fall season and also because if i switch to something super super moisturizing and thick and creamy i my skin tends to react for, to that from time to time and 
knock on my head because you can't see me knock on the wood my skin has been acting and behaving well so i didn't want to kind of throw a wrench into the process by adding in a crazy moisturizer so fix plus has been lovely i'm gonna try to peel through these products so this video ain't so long so moving on to the face i have been loving big fat heart Big Fat Heart goes out to the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Foundation. It is what I'm wearing today and I love this foundation so much. I did a full review on it and I will remember, you will remember, I will remember to link that video down below. So you can check out that video if you haven't seen it yet. Um, I am in the shade what was formerly 175 and is now R510. This is an amazing foundation. It's a perfect color match. My phone is ringing. Hold on. So anyway, um, love this foundation. It is very long wearing. The coverage is beautiful. It's nearly undetectable. I'm sure it probably looks really good on Ultra HD TVs. I will have no idea because I'm not never in that situation. But every day up close, it looks really well. I use like one pump. If I'm doing a little bit much, I'm doing a pump and a half. But really that's enough to give me really full coverage. So, really, really like that. My lighting is making me look off. Y'all, I'm not this shiny in person. Okay, I think that's a little better. If the lighting has shifted halfway through this video, my apologies. But I was looking a little cray for a minute and I couldn't understand why. So, we added a little background light and we'll see how that goes. So, anyway. Ultra HD Makeup Forever <laughs> Foundation. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. So, moving right along, staying with the face products, my new favorite, and I'm so late to this game, which is terrible because I purchased it forever ago and I just never used it. It is the LA Girl Pro Conceal Concealer. I use this also today, and this is in the shade warm honey so this is warm honey it is a great concealer again it lasts all day it doesn't crease on me i set it as per usual with my nars crystal setting powder i mean we might as well just throw this in here this is the only setting powder that i've used since i purchased this so i mean let's be honest it's a favorite but you know i talk about this all the time so this is amazing it's a really good coverage it's super you know it's good full coverage but i like the color choice because i don't go for that super bright uh under eye and such and i think this is just the right shade for me it doesn't go ashy on me mm, i love it and it's like two dollars y'all two dollars in your local beauty supply store it's amazing you should definitely check it out also for the face i have been loving and also used today i'm so excited that i've used a bunch of products in my favorites on my face for my favorites if that makes any sense but this product is the anastasia beverly hills uh dip brow pomade and this is in the color ebony so i love this stuff so much as you can tell it is nice and used i have really been enjoying what it's doing for my brows y'all i mean can we talk about it I really like it so it definitely fills them in but it's not in a manner that looks really fake like they still look pretty natural it still mimics the brow hair fills them in nicely this stuff stays put all day i'm pretty sure it's waterproof i'm fairly sure it's waterproof either way it stays all day i use that i still use the brow wiz to kind of define the lower part or the bottom of my brow line and then i go over with the clear brow gel done you set brows ain't going nowhere nowhere so love 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 that product moving right along oh we definitely have to talk about this i mean i think we're gonna talk about it in every video every video and this is champagne pop by becca and jacqueline hill it was their collab together it is again mm-hmm Mm -hmm. the highlight that I'm wearing today I love it I so easily go ham on this stuff I think I wore it every day for straight like three weeks and then finally I was like take a break sister take a break 
and so I did but we we right back we right back on it it's such a beautiful highlight it blends beautifully it looks wonderful on so many different skin tones I've been watching a ton of videos and everybody that I've watched so far seems to really enjoy it and for good reason I mean Becca products are amazing I absolutely love Jaclyn Hill this is creamy and buttery and blendable and soft and but that highlight though you know what I'm saying though no? but that highlight so love that guy so we will move right along to some eye products and as mentioned before I'm not gonna go into a whole bunch of detail about these products because I think I am gonna do a specific video about the Anastasia Beverly Hills shadows so I have four of them what's that in my palette so these four right here are the Anastasia shadows. This is Truffle Glitter right there. This is Denim Smoky, which y'all don't even know about Denim Smoky. I, and if you do, then you, you know what I'm talking about. But I'm going to do a look with Denim Smoky is the one that I was thinking about. This is Dark Chocolate Shimmer, maybe? I forget the name of this one. Yeah, I was right. Dark Chocolate Shimmer. Is this one right here and this one is chocolate so chocolate dark chocolate shimmer truffle glitter and denim smoky I love these shadows they are amazing they retail for $12 they are available in Macy's and Post stores and they're great now the reason that I got all into these shadows was because of this puppy and this is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Shadow Couture World Traveler Palette. It's a really, really long name and I couldn't figure out what it was. Now, I've done a look. I use this shadow today, so you'll see this in this, or this palette and this look, so you'll see it again. But I did do another Get Ready With Me with this palette exclusively. And it's such a complete freaking palette. Not going to go into it crazy because there's going to be a video. But, I mean, it is just warm goodness. All these shadows here... Come on, come through camera. Okay, all these these first four are just so beautiful, warm, everyday colors. This purple is amazing. That blue is amazing. Pink champagne. Pink champagne is everything. It's one of their um, titanium shadows, I believe. And it is everything. Metallic is gorgeous. I can't wait to use that. I can't get enough of noir. Um, intense glaze is a nice everyday color. So love, love, love love this palette uh it's just really kind of opened my eyes to the shadows of the Anastasia collection and they are bellissima so the last thing I want to talk about with you guys today oh no that's not right the next thing I want to talk about oh I'm just gonna mention it Anastasia Beverly Hills liquid lipsticks these are three of the I believe seven um fall collection you guys, I have trust issues on right now. Mm, it's so good. I love this formula. I love how they wear. I love that they're not super drying. I love the colors. They're amazing. More to come on that. So, officially, the last thing that I want to talk about today are my love of some brushes. The first one I want to mention is by Anastasia, and this is the number seven brow brush. I use this with the dip brow pomade. It's amazing. It has a really thin, look at that. Look how thin that is. Angled tip. The other end has a spoolie on it, and it's a good spoolie. It's like nice and soft. It doesn't scratch you up. It works really well with the dip brow pomade, so I'm glad I got those two together because it's been really effective. Now, my last love of the month. I am so excited. My phone just won't stop. I just can't stop being so excited about this particular product line. So I have been longing, longing, longing to pick up some items from this line and I finally was able to actually on two different occasions. So these are my Morphe brushes. And I'm so excited to say these are not all of them, which 
It's either a good thing or a bad thing. Um, I have been watching people talk about how amazing Morphe brushes are on YouTube for quite some time. And I just hadn't taken the leap to kind of check them out. Um, and I was afforded an opportunity with Hope Look. They actually had Morph Morphe brush sets online for sale. And so I picked up a set that had a, a delightful array of brushes in them. And... I went ahead and picked them up and tried them and I loved them. And one of them that came in that set specifically was this Morphe S20 brush. I'll try to show you. So this is like a step up from a pencil brush. Um, my pencil brush that I use all the time is this MAC 219 brush, I think it is. 219, 210, it's rubbed off, I can't tell. So, and it has a really pointy tip. Now you can see the difference between the MAC brush, which is on, I don't know, I think my right, that one, and this one from Morphe. So it's a little bit bigger in diameter, domed but not pointed, but this is perfect for after you apply your lower lash color to really get in there and buff everything out so it's super smoky. So love this brush. The other one that I love actually came with that kit as well, and it's the Morphe S28. It is a flat shader brush, but it has a pointed tip, or a dome tip. I guess it's not truly pointed. So this is really good for applying color to your lash line right up top, and I love it because it places the color and it also smudges it out at the same time. Delightful. Love this brush. Love it, love it, love it. Um, now, these other ones I purchased... Um, because I watched a couple favorite videos of YouTubers that I love um, and they both mentioned their favorite, they have videos about their favorite Morphe brushes. So Manny MUA, who's amazing, and also Young Wild and Polish, Nicole from Young Wild and Polish, both have videos about their favorite Morphe brushes and I took some suggestions from those guys um, and picked out a few of their favorites and then a couple that I wanted to try. So, um, one of my other favorites is the M505. So this is a less fluffy, shorter hair version of that first one that I just showed you. So a little bit shorter. You can do a little more detailed crease work. This is a really good crease brush. Um, it won't blow it out quite so much if you want to just kind of keep it a little more to the crease. This is a good brush for that. And even more detailed than that is the Elite Collection, I need to get my hands on the rest of these brushes. They're amazing. So this is the E23 brush. Similar to that last one, a little bit fluffier, a little bit longer hairs, and just like a smidge longer, but definitely a longer handle. Um, this one is amazing. Same thing, crease color, lid color, all over color. I use this brush to um, lay down like a base color all over my eye after I put on my primer. Mm. Love, love, love this brush. My other fave is the M432. This is a flat definer brush. I saw Jacqueline Hill use either this brush or one similar to it and I was like, that's it, I have to have it because along with my pencil brush, this is a wonderful way to apply color and pack it really tightly to your lower lash line. Mm. And then you take that other one that I showed you, the, um, the S20 brush and you just buff it out. So great, so, so great. And my last... No, not my last favorite. This is the M510. It is a pony hair, white brush, very fluffy, very soft, lovely at just blending out. If you just want to do a crease color and be done with your morning, just something in the crease to define your crease, this is a great brush for that. And last but not least is, da -dun, da -dun, can I get a trump roll? This is the Morphe M501 brush. Now, everybody and their mama has talked about this brush and I'm so last on the train to get it. But this is a wonderful brush to apply your highlight. Very specifically, very, um, have, not even heavily, but a very precise, that's the word I'm looking for. Good job. Precise application of your highlight just right here. Right here at the temples or I can get right under my brow bone or on my brow bone with this. Right at the tip of my nose, which I know it looks super bright on camera, but 
you know, what you gonna do? Y'all know I like to go ham on a highlight. I mean, it is what it is. I might have to use. We gonna let that go. Anyway, the Morphe M51 brush I love. So these are my Morphe brushes. I did pick up quite a few more. If you guys are interested in a video to see what brushes I picked up exactly, I'd be happy to do that for you. I have a couple more. Oh, the E17 I have. That's amazing. And there's some other ones in there, but these are the ones that I've been using pretty freaking regularly. Love, love, love. And Morphe is such a great brand. It's so super affordable. Um, their, their brushes are like, these eye brushes are like four and five and six dollars. Like you can't even beat that. And it's just such amazing quality. So I am really, really excited that I finally delved in and picked up some brushes from this line because they're amaze balls. So I think that's it. That's enough, ain't it? I'm sure there's other things that I was loving this month that I have neglected to put into this video because I was trying to do the most as usual and film before I go to dinner at my friend's house. So that was who was calling on the phone, her husband. Probably wondering what the hell I'm doing. I'm not late though, y'all. I'm I swear I'm not late. And I'm like a solid seven minutes from really being ready to walk out the door. Which for me is impressive because dinner's in a half hour. So and she lives five minutes away. So technically that's twelve minutes that I truly need. And you know. That leaves me some more minutes to play with y'all. So anyway, I'm going to get out of here. I have had plenty of things. We'll talk about the lashes later. Do we, should we talk about them now? Okay, I'm going to add this in. Because they are favorites. I am going to talk to you lovely people. Oh good, these are fresh. We'll do these. So I have been really into lashes lately. As we can see. So today I have on the Demi Wispies from Ardell. There we go. And I love them. They're very lovely. Mm -hmm. They're wispy, but they're dramatic. They add to the look. I think with a smoky eye, lashes are going to be my new thing. My other favorite, especially with a really smoky eye, because I find with a smoky eye, if your lashes are too out of control it like blocks all the work that you did so i like that these are wispy and you can kind of see through what i've done but like with a super smoky look which is the one i'm planning i'm doing with uh denim smoky aha uh -huh. you see how i did that um i plan to use these these are the ardell 102 wispies demi wisp no 102 demi so those are the two lashes that I've been playing with. I've been loving them. I mentioned other lashes from Ardell. I'm hoping to pick up some velour lashes soon and try those out. But yeah, I love them. I'm going to cut this into the video somewhere. <laughs> So anyway, you guys, I love you. Thank you so much for watching. These are my August favorites. I hope you enjoyed. If there are any favorites that you are loving, please go ahead and put them down below. I am so interested to know what you've been loving this past month. And I do have to thank you guys for subscribing and liking my videos and leaving comments. It's been so super encouraging and I'm having truly just the best time. And I just can't wait to show you guys more stuff and we just kind of grow as a channel together. So thank you. I would reach out and hug you if uh, you were in front of me, but you're not. So we'll just have to pretend. Anyway, I'm going to quit rambling and I will see you guys in the next video. I love you so much. Thank you again. If you haven't subscribed already, go ahead and do so. And I will see you in the next video. Bye. Hold on. Okay, I think it's better. We just don't have to ignore the phone for me.